And what the U-2 was designed to do was to fly over Russia outside of the range of Russian missiles. And initially did that up until 1960 when Gary Powers was shot down over the Soviet Union. Now we're actually flying the U-2. There's nobody on Earth higher than us other than the people in the space station. So as far as the Earth's atmosphere, the U-2 pilot is the highest person on Earth. Uh, the view is something to really behold. You can actually see a little bit of curvature to the Earth and you can see kind of the glow from the atmosphere below you. What the U-2 does is provide high altitude surveillance and reconnaissance. It's basically an eyes and ears of the battlefield for combatant commanders throughout the world. The most challenging part and what makes the U-2 so unique to fly is that it's very, very hard to land. Uh, the plane has to come to a full stall in order to actually land on the runway. Uh, the U-2, you have to keep flying the plane even if it's on the ground until it actually comes to a very complete stop and you're at zero knots airspeed. The future uh, seems to be pointing in the direction of unmanned ISR, and there are a lot of capable platforms out there. Uh, the U-2 to this day is very capable as well, so that would be a decision for the policymakers to make in the future.